In the world of military aviation, few things are as captivating as a fighter jet armed to the teeth with advanced weaponry. The sight of a sleek, powerful aircraft, bristling with state-of-the-art missiles and bombs, is a testament to human ingenuity and technological prowess. The Swedish Air Force's S. Ab Gripen, a nimble and respected fighter in its own right, just got a serious upgrade, the Taurus KPD-350 missile. This addition significantly enhances the Gripen's already impressive capabilities, making it a formidable force in the skies. This isn't just another weapon system integration. The Taurus brings a whole new dimension of capability to the Swedish Air Force, fundamentally changing its strategic posture. It allows the Gripen to engage targets that were previously out of reach, providing a significant tactical advantage. The Taurus KEPD-350 is a long-range air-launched cruise missile designed to obliterate high-value targets. Its precision and destructive power make it a game-changer in modern warfare. We're talking about heavily defended command centers, buried bunkers, and other fortified military installations that are critical to an enemy's warfighting capability. And critical infrastructure, all deep within enemy territory. The ability to strike these targets from a distance keeps the Gripen and its pilot out of harm's way while delivering a devastating blow to the enemy. It's the kind of standoff capability that can cripple an adversary's ability to wage war effectively. By neutralizing key assets and infrastructure, the Taurus missile can significantly disrupt enemy operations. With the Taurus under its wings, the Gripen can now reach out and touch targets far beyond its previous reach, posing a credible threat even to heavily fortified adversaries. This extended range and enhanced firepower make the Gripen a more versatile and lethal platform. This development sends ripples across the geopolitical landscape, particularly in Northern Europe. The enhanced capabilities of the Gripen with the Taurus missile are likely to influence regional security dynamics and military strategies. Sweden, historically known for its neutrality, is sending a clear message. They are ready and able to defend their territory and interests against any potential aggressor. This move underscores Sweden's commitment to maintaining its sovereignty and security. The integration of the Taurus onto the Gripen marks the beginning of a new chapter, not just for the Swedish Air Force, but for the regional balance of power as a whole. This strategic enhancement positions Sweden as a more formidable player in the defense landscape of Northern Europe. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. The Taurus Kepti 350 isn't your run-of-the-mill missile. It's a game-changer in the world of modern warfare. This is a highly sophisticated weapon system, designed to meet the most demanding operational requirements. A marvel of modern engineering, it was jointly developed by Germany's MBDA and Sweden's Saab Bofors Dynamics. The Taurus is a testament to what happens when cutting-edge technology meets precision engineering. This collaboration has resulted in a missile that stands out in its class. So, what makes the Taurus so special? It's not just another missile, it's a strategic asset. It all boils down to its unique blend of range, speed, stealth, and most importantly, its ability to hit targets with pinpoint accuracy. This combination makes it a formidable weapon. We're talking about a weapon that can travel for hundreds of miles, hugging the terrain to evade enemy radar, making it extremely difficult to detect and intercept, and deliver a devastating blow with surgical precision. Its impact is both powerful and precise. This is a game changer for the Swedish Air Force, providing them with a true standoff capability they haven't possessed before. It significantly enhances their operational reach. No longer are they limited to engaging targets within visual range or relying on shorter range missiles. The Taurus extends their reach and effectiveness. The Taurus gives them the ability to strike deep within enemy territory, far beyond the front lines. The missile can take out critical infrastructure and command and control nodes, crippling the enemy's ability to respond effectively. This capability is invaluable in modern warfare, where disrupting the enemy's command structure can turn the tide of battle, all while keeping their pilots safely out of harm's way. The Taurus Kia PD-350 is not just a missile, it's a strategic advantage. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. The True Beauty of the Taurus Kept 350 lies beneath its sleek exterior. It's a symphony of advanced technologies, all working in perfect harmony to create a weapon system of unparalleled capability. At the heart of the Taurus is its state-of-the-art navigation system, a marvel of modern engineering. The Taurus doesn't just rely on one type of guidance, it uses a combination of systems, each complementing the other to ensure pinpoint accuracy, 
even in the most challenging environments. We're talking about inertial navigation systems, INS, global positioning systems, GPS, terrain reference navigation, TRN, and even image-based navigation, IBN. This multifaceted approach ensures that the Taurus can stay on target, regardless of weather conditions, enemy jamming attempts, or the lack of pre-existing terrain data. It's this level of sophistication that sets the Taurus apart from its competitors and makes it such a potent weapon system. Sweden's decision to integrate the Taurus Kia PD350 onto its Gripen fleet is a strategic move of considerable significance. It signals a clear shift in Sweden's defense posture, one driven by the increasingly complex and unpredictable security environment in Northern Europe. For decades, Sweden has adhered to a policy of neutrality, opting not to join military alliances like NATO. However, recent geopolitical developments, particularly Russia's resurgence and its increasingly assertive posture in the Baltic region, have forced Sweden to reevaluate its security calculus. The Taurus integration is a clear signal that Sweden is taking its defense seriously. It's a message not only to potential adversaries but also to their allies, demonstrating their commitment to regional security. The integration of the Taurus onto the Gripen isn't just big news for Sweden, it also has significant implications for Germany. In a deal worth 1.7 billion SEK, approximately $161 million, Saab has been contracted to upgrade and maintain the German Air Force's existing Taurus inventory. This agreement is a win-win for both countries. For Sweden, it strengthens their domestic defense industry, providing Saab with valuable experience and expertise. And for Germany, it ensures their Taurus fleet remains at the cutting edge of technology, maximizing their operational effectiveness. This upgrade program highlights the growing defense cooperation between Sweden and Germany, a trend likely to continue as security concerns in Northern Europe persist. Section 6. Taurus vs. the World A look at the competition. The Taurus Kep D350 is entering a crowded field of advanced air-launched cruise missiles. How does it stack up against the competition? Let's take a quick look. The American-made AGM-158 JASSM, or Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, is a key competitor. The JASSM boasts stealth features designed to evade enemy radar, and its range is comparable to the Taurus. However, the Taurus is known for its superior penetration capabilities, making it ideal for taking out hardened targets. Then there's the Storm Shadow, also known as Scalp Eag, a joint British-French development. Like the Taurus, it's designed for long-range standoff strikes against high-value targets. However, the Taurus has a slight edge in range and payload capacity, giving it an advantage in certain scenarios. The Taurus KEPD-350, with its unique combination of range, penetration, and accuracy, stands out as a highly capable and versatile weapon system in its class. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. Section 7. Shifting Tides. Geopolitical Impact of the Taurus Integration. The integration of the Taurus KEPD-350 onto Sweden's Gripen fighters has sent ripples throughout the geopolitical landscape, particularly in Northern Europe. This advanced missile system significantly enhances Sweden's military capabilities, allowing for precision strikes at long distances. It's a move that has been closely watched by both allies and potential adversaries, as it signals a potential shift in the regional balance of power. Military analysts are keenly observing how this development might influence future military strategies and alliances. Russia, with its significant military presence in the Baltic region, is undoubtedly paying close attention. The Kremlin's response to this integration could shape the future of military engagements in the area. The Taurus, with its ability to strike deep within Russian territory, poses a credible threat to their military infrastructure and command and control nodes. This capability forces Russia to reconsider its defensive and offensive postures. Sweden's decision to enhance its long-range strike capabilities sends a clear message. They are not to be trifled with. This move is a significant step in bolstering their national defense and deterring potential aggressors. While Sweden remains committed to its policy of neutrality, they are making it abundantly clear that they are ready and willing to defend their territory and interests. This dual approach of neutrality and readiness is a cornerstone of their defense strategy. The Taurus integration is a testament to the changing security dynamics in Northern Europe, a region grappling with heightened tensions and uncertainty. As nations adapt to these shifts, the geopolitical landscape will continue to evolve, with new alliances and rivalries emerging. Section 8. 
Join the conversation your thoughts on the Taurus. The integration of the Taurus. KPD-350 missile onto Sweden's Gripen fighter jets is a significant development with far-reaching implications. Now, we want to hear from you. How do you think the Taurus missile will change Sweden's defense strategy in the years to come? And here's a question for you. In what year did the Taurus KPD-350 missile enter operational service? Was it 2003, 2005, 2007, or 2009? Share your answers and insights in the comments below. Section 9. Looking ahead. The future of Swedish air power. The integration of the Taurus KPD-350 missile marks a pivotal moment for the Swedish Air Force. It's a clear signal of their commitment to modernization and their determination to maintain a credible deterrent capability in an increasingly uncertain security environment. The Taurus integration is just one piece of a larger puzzle. Sweden is actively investing in a range of advanced technologies and capabilities to enhance their air power. This includes the development of next-generation fighter jets, the integration of unmanned aerial vehicles, and the expansion of their air defense networks. As Sweden looks to the future, one thing is certain, they are committed to maintaining a technologically advanced and highly capable air force, one that can defend their nation's interests in an increasingly complex and challenging world. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia for more insightful content.